too. What's up? TR Puff and stuff here. But you knew that, didn't you? I apologize for my voice. It's this trach. It uh, makes me sound a little weird. I know some of you have been subscribed to my Tan channel for years and years. Might not be used to it, but this is the new me, unfortunately. Hey, today, guys, I want to talk about an update my uh, everyday carry uh, the last time I did a video on this was seven years ago and uh, I just looked at that video and uh, realized that hey it's time to update that some things have changed some things I've left off some things I've had to add so I figured it was time for an update seven years ago I was uh, sporting the old flip phone if you remember those and uh, so yeah I figured it'd be time to go ahead and do an update so I'm gonna go ahead and do a pocket dump here and uh, again this is a realistic EDC okay I'm not gonna break out nunchucks and brass knuckles and you know three or four knives and all that ridiculous stuff I think a lot of people that do these everyday carry videos they don't realize the meaning of everyday carry it's what you carry every day it's not just an opportunity to show off all the cool stuff you have so what I have on me right now I just got back from Wally World and uh, uh, just pulled the truck in took care of the goats and the rabbits made sure they had food and water and uh, Uh, I figured I'd go ahead and do this video so I'm gonna go ahead now and do a pocket dump here and just go ahead and take out everything that I have in my pockets and then we'll talk about what I've got okay and how it's changed over the years and uh, I think that one thing that's changed most well few of the things that have changed have been because of my health and my age but you know that aside uh, a lot of the items are are still the same whoops forgot my knife let's see make sure all right all the pockets are empty okay so here we go everyday carry I think it's important to have all of these items. Now, I'm not going to go into name brands and all that stuff. There are lots of brands out there, and everybody has their favorite. If I were to say that this is the best knife in the world, a lot of people are going to disagree. So, I'm not going to get into that. I'm just going to go over the items, okay? and the things that I think it's important to have and the first item I think that's important to have on you at all times is a wallet I don't like to have a big fat wallet so that I'm sitting like this when I sit down I like to keep it thin as you can see if you can see I don't have a cameraman so I apologize just a basic wallet my wife and I gave up credit cards years ago one of the best things we ever did but I do have a de debit card in here I do have my insurance information uh, my Medicare and my insurance and all that stuff I do have my vehicle registration my vehicle insurance I do have my driver's license, my passport, photo, and, you know, identification. You want to have that because law enforcement, uh, medical, you know, EMTs, hospital, whatever, if something should happen, it's important to have that on you. Also, I keep extra cash. I have tucked up under here a little bit of cash that I don't spend. It's there in case of an emergency. 
Um, I think it's also important to keep in your wallet a uh, right here I have a, a little form with my voter ID and uh, I think it's important that you vote of course I think that it's important that only American citizens can vote and I don't believe that 16 year olds should be allowed to vote but also right here I keep medical information I have a card it says that I have stage 4 medullary carcinoma it says that I'm allergic to morphine and it has a list of all the medications that I'm on that's important because if something ever happens to me and somebody gets my wallet they're gonna wanna know who I am and then they'll see that and they'll they'll know my medical situation so keeping a wallet on you at all times I don't walk out of the house without my wallet ever a lot of things in there that are important next thing and I still don't like to use them but that's the cell phone okay like I said in my old video seven years ago I was uh, styling the flip phone I've actually got a smartphone now it's an Android and I don't want to hear from all you iPhone users okay whatever but on this phone and in, in, in addition to contacts and being able to dial 911 and emergency people I have some apps that I think are helpful I have an SOS uh, app on here that I can push this SOS and hold for three seconds and it will dial to my contacts that there's an emergency situation and that will prompt them to get in touch with me and investigate what's going on I also have on here a, a satellite a weather satellite um, so I can see what the current weather conditions are in my area wherever I'm at um, I also have in here different apps that are are very helpful I have the FEMA emergency disaster alert app uh, which is good to have but it's just it's just good to have a cell phone providing it's charged and will work and providing you have service in the area that you're at it's not something that you want to rely wholly upon but and like I say I don't like to talk on the phone I don't like to text but I like for people to be able to get in touch with me if they have to and I like to be able to get in touch with other people if I have to so it's important to have a cell phone on you in this day and age the third thing I think that's important is the keys now I don't know if you've ever watched my video from seven years ago this key chain holder is the exact same one that I had seven years ago my brother made it out of a spoon yeah a spoon he cut it off and bent the spoon handle and this fits on my belt and it hangs on my belt it doesn't bother me that it's outside it doesn't flop around much it doesn't avoid me or avoid me it doesn't prevent me from being comfortable when I sit down or anything but it's important to have your keys on you for several reasons this key gets me into my truck and in my truck I have my bug out bag and I have my emergency food supply one week slip food supply I have six gallons of water and another case of water and I have another bag of extra clothes enough stuff for my wife and I to survive out of doors if we had to for at least a week that's based on the food supply um, we could ration that out and go even longer and of course I have fishing equipment in there too so uh, in the area we are I could catch fish we could go for much much longer but having access to that stuff via a key is important and of course your house key everything that you have as far as your preps at your house also on my keychain I've added a ferro rod just a small one it doesn't take up much space but it works 
in case I need to start a fire. Um, not going to go into the reasons why it's important to have a ferro rod. If you're watching this video, you know why. But uh, yeah, always have your keys on you. It's important. Uh, next thing is a knife. Now, this is the knife that I have right now. This may change weekly, it may change daily, but I always have a folding blade pocket knife. If I don't have a folding blade in my pocket via a clip like this, I have a fixed blade attached to my belt. It just depends on the mood I'm in. But I just think it's important to have a good knife uh, it has to be sharp or else it's useless and uh, the type and brand and all that stuff that's really irrelevant it's whatever you choose to carry whatever your favorite is whether it's Spyderco or Benchmade or I think this is actually a cheap Winchester but you know what it cuts okay it's never broken on me anyway it's important to have a knife and you know all the reasons why but I carry a knife. Also, even though I don't smoke anymore, unfortunately, because of the thyroid cancer, I I very much miss smoking my pipes. But I still carry a lighter. I've got a lighter, a Bic. I've got the duct tape wrapped around it. Why do I have duct tape wrapped around it? Well, because duct tape is an excellent tender. It burns. It catches easy. It burns well. If you don't have tinder, you've got it right here around your lighter. I also have a little bit of paracord wrapped around the here so I can get it in and out of my pocket easy. And uh, it's important. You know why fire is important. I'm not going to go into that. But you have to have a form of ignition. Whatever your chosen form of ignition is, it's important to have. So I've got a little bit of redundancy here with the ferro rod. I can strike that with the knife. And then I've got the lighter. Another thing that I changed is I used to carry a Black & Decker flashlight. It had all these different modes and everything. And it was, yeah, it was about yay long, if you've seen the video. And I used to keep it in a pouch on my belt. I just like didn't like having all that stuff on the side of my belt. So recently I've gone to this Coast G19 one triple A battery or is it a double A? I don't recall. Let me check real quick. One feature about this is awesome is it does have this O-ring right on here so it is weather resistant and it is a triple A. So one triple A battery it's not the brightest light in the world, but it does everything I've ever needed it to do. It's an inspection beam, so it has that tight round. Anyway, I have a whole separate uh, review on this on my channel if you'll go check it out. But I like this because it fits easy in that little pocket that you have on the top of the right side of your jeans. Usually, though, I'll wear it right here in my shirt pocket. But if I'm wearing a shirt without a pocket, I'll keep it in that little pocket above your right jean pocket but I like this because it's easy as simple one flick on one flick off it doesn't have all that strobe SOS click 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 to turn off I don't like all that <coughs> excuse me but it's important to have a light you know I don't want to be that guy that says hey do you have a light I would rather be the guy that is asked do you have a light and I say why yes I do right here and I never before I carried a flashlight I mean, I've been carrying a flashlight for gosh 10-15 years I guess um, I couldn't imagine what it would be like not to carry a light now because you don't really realize how many times it comes in helpful at night I take this out of my pocket whatever pocket is and I put it right on the nightstand beside my bed so if I have to wake up in the middle of the night to do something you know you hear the bump in the night or whatever I can grab this flick and boom so anyway it's good to have a light source with you 
haven't seen them in a long time. The last two things that I've added to my uh, everyday carry are out of necessity because of my age and my health. And one is glasses. Now sometimes if I'm around the yard or around my house, I'll have these glasses right here in my, you know, my front pocket. But usually I don't carry those when we go out to a restaurant or to a movie or to eat or something like that. I'll carry these little Foster Grants in this little case right here. The case keeps them safe, but they open up and they fold out. I always get tons of compliments on these. They're so cool. And they just fold up like that and they're reading glasses. If I go out nowadays, if it's not a billboard or a road sign, I can't read it. So it comes in good for menus and stuff like that when you go to a restaurant or if you go to the doctor and you gotta fill out those damn forms for the umpteenth time. Um, and it just fits right down in my front left pocket. But I have to have these glasses, so I've added that to my everyday carry. And the other thing is I have is this little little pouch right here, this little I don't know where I even got this. It's Velcro. It flips onto my belt, and then it's Velcro. It flips up. But inside of it, I have an extra inner cannula, which is this part of my my trach right here. Sometimes it gets clogged up, and I need a fresh, clean one. So that's what I've got there. And then also in the bottom here, I have an extra passamere valve or a speaking valve in case something were to happen to the one that I have. So these are just kind of some things that I have to have when you have a trach, you know. You have to have that. So that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, also a watch. I always have a watch. I know I'm an old-fashioned guy. Yeah, I can look at my cell phone and tell the time, but I'd have to reach into my pocket and pull it out and turn it on and do all that. If I want to know what time it is, I just go like that. I am always, I have a Swiss Army watch fan. I have two Swiss Army watches. I rotate out. This one has a black face. The other one has a blue face. I like the Swiss Armies because they're indestructible. The stainless steel band is not going to mess up. It's got a sapphire crystal, so it won't scratch up. It does have a rotating bezel. It's got the date. It glows in the dark. Swiss Army is a great knife, a uh, great watch, and a knife, I guess. But uh, then I always carry, I always wear this bracelet every day, paracord. I don't know how many feet of paracord this bracelet is if I ever had to open it up, but if I'm ever in an emergency situation, I don't have cordage and I need it, there's cordage. And then, of course, my wedding band. I don't go anywhere without that. Uh, I love my wife very much, and I'm not ashamed of it, so I wear this. Even though I've lost a lot of weight with the cancer, it's kind of loose. I still make sure that I have this on. It's made out of tungsten carbide, so it's indestructible. It still looks the same way today as it did the day I got it. So uh, tungsten carbide is a good, good choice for a ring. Uh, let's see, I think that's about... Oh, oh! I have added one thing, and that is right here. My choice of carry. This is a Smith and Wesson SD9, nine millimeter. That is my uh, carry pistol. Um, the other pistol I have is a revolver. Wouldn't be good for concealed carry, but this I love it. I know some of you Glock fans are going to say Smith & Wesson, oh, that's a piece of crap. Hey, I don't care. Like I said, brands, it's up to you and your choice. But in this day and age, it's so important to have protection. And I'm not talking about condoms. I'm talking about a weapon. And uh, I hate that the world has come to that. But I feel much safer when I'm out with my family and I have this. I hope I never have to use it. And if you are going to carry a gun, make sure you know what you're doing. Okay? 
make sure that you're trained and that you practice. Um, a little bit about the holster that I that I use. Uh, I love this holster. This is by Concealment Express. It's the Concealment Express in waistband holster. It's uh, Kydex. It's got that carbon fiber look. It's made specifically for this gun. It has a very good retention. As you can see, it's not going anywhere. This clip, I mean, it stays put in one place. It doesn't come up, go down, none of that stuff. And even though it has good retention, it still comes out good. But I like that. You got that click, you know that it's in there. It comes out easy. Fits custom to the gun. Concealment Express, if you're looking for a good in the waistband holster, I highly recommend them. Um, so there you go guys, that's my everyday carry. Wallet, phone, keys, ferro rod, knife, lighter, flashlight, glasses, emergency trade stuff, and a weapon. A watch, a ring, and some paracord. Uh, anyway, that's all. I hope you enjoy watching my videos. I'm excited to be back on YouTube making more videos again. I apologize for my voice. Not much I can do about that. But until next time, keep calm, carry on, keep puffing.